Hey everyone, welcome to Craftmas, where I'll be sharing a quick tip, hack, or Christmas tutorial every day leading up to December 25th. Let's get to it. Happy December 5th. For today's Craftmas, I'm going to be showing you how to make three different types of floating pens. So I actually purchased mine in bulk from Alibaba, but you can also get them on Amazon and some other websites. I'll be sure to link them in the description. So when you get your pen, it usually comes in this little bag and it has two parts. So you have the clear fillable barrel. Usually they have a little silver or gold ring on them. Then you have the pen itself, it usually twists open. And then you also get that little rubber stopper. Just make sure you don't lose those because they're vital for your pen. <laughs> so my favorite little tool for making pens is this little block from Creepsakes. I will link this below as well. It is a complete and total game changer. It makes these things so much easier and they never tip over and leak everywhere. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my three pens apart I like to put the barrels in the front, well, the fillable barrels in the front, the, I guess, the bottom barrel in the back, and then the little rubber piece I like to keep with the pen it came with. You can interchange them, but sometimes they are really hard to get in different pens. I'm not sure why that is, but this is just the easiest way that I have found to do it. So we'll get all of our little pens taken apart here. And then we're going to be filling them with three different things. You will definitely want some super glue. This is the gel Gorilla Glue. The gel is my favorite because it doesn't run. So like I said, we're going to be using three different things. We're going to be doing glitter. This is Mad Madam. That's a brand new glitter from the advent calendar. It was today's glitter. <laughs> some clays. These are from Maple Street Supply. And then some crystals. Those are from Creepsakes as well. So for the glitter and the clays, we're going to be filling our barrels with baby oil. I think I got mine from like Target or something um, or Amazon. I don't know. Any regular baby oil is what you want. Um, so we're going to be filling it up not all the way i'm i'm gonna try to kind of show you you want to leave a little bit of a gap between your ring that little silver or gold ring and where you fill your oil you have to remember that the little plug is going to go into that barrel itself so don't fill it almost all the way to the top of the barrel if that makes sense now as far as glitters go i use mediums i use chunkies i can use shapes and dots you don't want to use fine because they'll just clump together so i just hold the barrel over the cap of the glitter and i just do a few little taps you don't need a ton of glitter in these pens you want them to flow so you don't want to overfill them now for the clays i'm just going to use my fingers and pick up some of these little fruit pieces. I usually do about eight to 12, depending on the size of the clay um, in my barrel. Sometimes I'll add like an opal chunky glitter, but they were in my basement and I was being lazy because it's cold outside. Um, so I like to give my clays just a little shake when I put them in there, just to kind of spread them out and get them covered in that oil so that they don't get all clumped together. And then for our last one, we're gonna be using these crystals. Um, these are from Creepsakes as well. I don't know the like technical name, but I will link them below. These things are beautiful. So this is one of the blues and then the white is actually a mix of the clear and the AB crystal. They are stunning together. So I have done before you can do ombres, you can do a single color. What I'm doing here is just putting some in. I'm going to shake them up just to get them mixed up a little bit because that's kind of look I'm going for. So you're just going to go ahead and fill this barrel with the crystals. I like to go all the way to the very bottom um, of that little silver ring that's on my pen. Once you've finished filling your pens, you're going to go ahead and put your little rubber plugs in there. I like to use just something hard. So here I'm just using the edge of my granite countertop, which you can't see, but it just helps to push that plug into place. Um, and make sure it's nice and secured. After your plugs are in, you're gonna take your uh, Gorilla Glue gel and put the teeny tiniest drop on that bottom barrel right on the inside, and then put your top on and twist it into place, and that's it, your pen's secure. I do always like to check and make sure that my little writing part there always twists out. If you put too much glue, it won't come out and the pen won't work anymore. So that's that. These pens are perfect stocking stuffers. They are great for teacher appreciation, nurse appreciation. My customers love them and I hope that yours do too. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.